doing also awesome review. And today we're looking at the Halo to Spartan Collection at Kelly 087. This figure comes with her M45D shotgun, also known as Opsworn, and her MK50 sidekick, along with a pair of fists, a finger pointing hands. A pair of one finger pointing hands that also double as trigger fingers. And a pair of gripping hands. Yeah, uh, aesthetic wise the figure does look good. Uh, white on it, pretty off white, but it's a really nice clean color. And I actually really like the simplicity of it. It does remind me a lot of a Master Chief styled armor, of course, with Kelly's signature helmet. A few differences here and there, but it's a really nice looking armor. I, I like it. I think it looks good aesthetic wise. I have no issues with this. You could argue that it could use a little bit of a gray wash to kind of help with those panel lines. But at the same time, I'm hesitant to even do that just because it looks so good as it is. There's, of course, some weathering throughout certain parts of the figure with some silver dry brushing here and there but not too much to make it like oversaturated or anything. I think it looks really good, really clean, really love the figure itself aesthetic wise. On the other hand, she is the wrong color. And yeah, that's pretty interesting that they got her in this off white because Kelly has always been a kind of darkish blue color. Not, not even certain, like, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know the right actual term for it, but you know, here, we're going to do some comparisons before we get into articulation because I do want to talk about this. Uh, she is not the right color. Here we have the Mattel version from Halo 5. And here we have the Halo 5 uh, McFarlane version, if she'll stand up. There we go. So we have both companies' prior attempts of Kelly. I will say that this one is my favorite. I do like the modern look. And it's not the first time they've given us like a modern updated look for blue team. We do have the Halo or World of Halo scale thread right here, which looks really good. I do really like it. Love the blue on it. It's it's a great figure. I'm sure he's coming since Linda is next in the, the next wave of figures actually next month. But yeah, I, I don't know what happened here with the color. Um, I tried to think back, you know, the last time Kelly was in any type of canon story was the Halo Shadows of Reach book which really good book i do recommend it but um I, I tried looking for the character description by skimming like the first chapter and i i don't think they describe her in the first chapter i'm pretty sure they do go over the descriptions of the figures but uh not again in that first chapter and i didn't really want to go through the book but then i remembered the cover and even in the cover you can see she is still her signature blue right there uh it is the updated armor it's not the you know halo 5 armor on all of them so I would assume 343 definitely already updated the molds for all of them, just because, but, uh, or the models, I should say. But yeah, again, she is definitely her blue color right here. So I don't know if this is a Wicked Cool Toys Jazzwares mess up right here where they just got the wrong color, confused her with Kelly's color, because I believe she is in off white. Um, she is coming in off white. Thankfully, she's not coming in blue. But yeah, I don't know what happened there. I, it, it's weird. If, I, I might repaint her. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know because, like I said, if she comes back into the game in, like, DLC at some point and she's this color, I'll be like, well, dang. I, I repainted that figure for no reason. But again, you know, the last canon showing of her, she was blue. So, really odd. Really big mistake if it is a mistake, which I'm assuming it is. And aside from that, yeah, let's just move on from there. So I did want to take a closer look at her signature shotgun, which you can see right here with the little symbols on it and everything. It looks really good. I do like the shotgun. Every iteration of the shotgun has come out amazing and looks really amazing. Just, it, I love it. it. It is rubbery, but I haven't had any issues with this one, honestly, like with the rubber bending too much, maybe just a little bit. Getting her to hold it is a little bit of a chore. It's not the easiest thing, especially getting the bottom hand to grip like right there. But it is doable. As for her pistol, looks good. Um, yeah, really nothing to say there other than, yeah, it's, it's, Halo. it's Halo pistol. It looks good. She does have the holstering ability to put it on the left or the right side by taking that out and switching it around. Same with the shotgun. You can 
pull that back, switch it around and holster the shotgun over there, which is great. No complaints in that. And uh, yeah, again, I just do want to mention that the helmet, although there, it looks like there is a little bit of a glue right here. It's green. It's weird. I don't like it. <laughs> I only just noticed it because I think of the angle I'm sitting here where I'm like above everything. But yeah, I, I love the helmet. I think the helmet came out really clean. Really awesome. It's nice. It's reflective. It's what you want in this collection. I think the helmet definitely sells the figure to me. It's the cherry on top. I don't know. It, it just, it completes the figure. It just, it's so shiny and there's so much of it because of how big that visor is that it just looks so freaking good. But anyways... Moving on to articulation, they definitely changed a few things here. The body type, the way it is constructed, is completely different from the last two female Spartans we gotten. Those Spartans being, of course, Kat and Spartan Palmer. So Kelly is in a new system where she is more similar to the males where you can pop the waist off and pop the, well, the waist off. So yeah, they, they went with that system instead of the regular one that they've been using for females, getting that in it's a little bit difficult which i don't know i have mixed feelings about because you can see here we have cat limited articulation wasn't that good um she could lean back that was really about it and unfortunately leaning back isn't going to cut it when it comes to these figures you want them to lean forward you want them to lean side to side so yeah and then i couldn't do the mod because of the way the body is if anyone wondering what i'm talking about i've been doing waste mods on these there's a video of it on the channel if you guys want to check it out but yeah same with palmer only she got a lot of side to side movement no forward movement a lot of it had to do with the armor right here but she did have that back movement and there was a little bit of forward i mean it's not horrible but i mean this was improved this was definitely good um at the time i'm gonna say it, it could still get better but uh, improvements aside, going with this system, they've kind of just nerfed it because now there is really no pivot side to side. There's a little bit of shifting, but not too much. There is no back at all, really, and there is no forward, and there is no left or right turning. So, yeah, like I said, they basically nerfed the body by switching it up. Now, I kind of get it because, and I'm saying kind of, because Palmer is in more of that Halo 5 aesthetic right there, so her armor style and body style is a little bit different and cat well i don't know they just messed up on cat maybe it's just the armor but for kelly here yeah it's just it, it's disappointing because it would have been nice to have that range of articulation but again i think i'm going to try and do the waist mod on her i don't see why it wouldn't work i just need to make it a little bit more skinny to fit her body but yeah i'm gonna try and do that maybe it'll be a separate video see how things come out with that Anyway, like I said, articulation in the waist isn't really there. That sucks. Whatever. Let's move on. Head movement can't really look up. Quick correction, she can move her head up just by one, which actually is noticeable. So I just wanted to make sure and add that in here. But she can look down a decent amount and I just popped the waist, which is something that happens a lot with this figure. If you try to just kind of move it at all, it, it, it will pop off, which is unfortunate. Um, she can look left. She can look right. She can pivot her head a little bit, but not really. It's nothing. It's nothing. It, it, it's just nothing. <laughs> Anyways, the arm can come up that much. It does get stopped by the armor, unfortunately, because I do feel like it might be able to go. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. But either way, that's good enough for me. It's flat. Goes all the way around. Rotation at the upper arm. Double jointed elbow, which I, I usually move it from the bottom first, because when you move the top end right here, uh, it makes it difficult to have that one bend but yeah it does about 90 degrees which is great rotation at the wrist hinge at the wrist unfortunately they're all hinges at the wrist including the you know gun holding hand so that sucks again body doesn't really do anything but legs that's good back i mean it's a little bit outwards fantastic shift it's good knees do good but again you're stuck with that ugly spartan knee but it is what it is at this point Leg can go back, forward, and it does have that toe hinge right there. And there is a slight pivot, so yeah. Um, a little bit of a mixed bag. It's a really good figure, don't get me wrong. But kind of weird for them to take this approach with Kelly and limit her abdomen and everything. You would think 
they would want to, I don't know, uh, improve on the last two female designs, especially since she is a member of Blue Team. But then again, she's the wrong color, so there is that. So for a better comparison, here she is next to Spartan Palmer and Spartan Cat. You can see she is slightly taller than both of them. Definitely taller than Palmer, just slightly taller than Cat. Looks really good. Does have, again, a different aesthetic, which I kind of appreciate because, I don't know, she just always seemed overly skinny and then her hips are just overly wide. If that's how they look in the game, that's fine with me. I'm, Palmer definitely did look skinny in the game. Halo Reach Cat, I, it's been a while, but yeah, uh... Kelly looks a little bit more aesthetically complete. She looks really good. I like the body style on it. That sounds really weird. But yeah, I think for a female Spartan, she came out probably the best out of those two where she's not kind of like overly done in any way. So just want to put it out there. Again, different body styles because now her waist pops off. Whereas these two, the bottom halves of them coming up to their torso are one solid piece all the way down to where the legs connect. Again, Kelly not having that. So it does add issues, again, with the articulation, but it makes me a little happy because I can definitely do my mod. But I, I guess for the general public, yeah, that, that definitely sucks. I, I wish she would have the at least Palmer articulation here because she was definitely an upgrade from Cat. Could she lean forward? Not that much. Could she lean back too much for whatever reason? Yeah, but at least she had the side to side, which is definitely useful and could she? Yeah, she could move left and right. So yeah, it just, it feels like a little bit of a downgrade in that sense. But anyway, here she is compared to the only other member of Blue Team we currently have until Linda drops next month, Master Chief. And yeah, you can see she is definitely shorter than him as she should be, as almost every single Spartan should be. She looks really good. You can see the inspiration of her new armor design from the Infinite style right here. I do really like it, especially like the shoulder piece and the whole like breast armor plate. I love how it very much reminds me of the Master Chief look and the same with Fred. I mean, we're going to get him in this scale eventually for sure. And I'm hoping that we're going to get the rest of them in this scale at some point. So I'm excited for that. Blue team, definitely great, you know, to like start getting more of them. You know, we have her, we have Linda coming. If you've read any of the books, you would be excited to if you watched uh, the movie uh, Halo Reach, Wall of Reach. Yeah, or read the comic books with them in it. Again, you know, the hype is there for these characters. They're definitely underutilized in the games. I understand why, but I I feel like they definitely deserve their own kind of like spin-off thing going on or something. That that would be great. But anyways, I did want to mention that in case anyone's wondering, first of all, he's a kit bash. Second, this is the waist articulation mod that I talked was talking about. His needs to be redone a little bit because definitely you know, it's not perfect on this one, but down, forward, left, right, like where he has the same limited movement originally as her. I'm going to do that to her and I'm pretty sure it'll come out fine. So I'm excited to get that done. And again, I'll probably do an update video for that in the future. Until then, this has been my review for the Halo Spartan Collection Kelly 087. Figures have come a long way, but I will mention right now, because as I was posing it, that her right arm is slightly loose the more I move it back. So although they've come a long way and they've done so much to improve, things like the body not being able to articulate as much and having that slightly loose joint, don't get me wrong, nowhere near as bad as the originals. I want to, you know, put that out there because those were better and <laughs> they weren't good. Uh, my Master Chief's arm just pops right off. But yeah, uh, they, they definitely, they're coming, they're getting better. Hopefully they keep improving and just keep and keep improving because I do like what they're doing here. And I really love what's going on with the World of Halo figures. So as long as they keep pumping these out, I will keep buying them and doing videos for them because I do love this series. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Orbiter should be coming out uh, next in the next couple of weeks, somewhere around there. I believe GameStop has him slated for around 10th with the rest of the wave later somewhere after the 20th so more halo reviews on the way definitely on the lookout for the new world of halo uh wave which is also out i guess kind of we'll we'll see how that goes it, it includes this odst and i'm excited for the odst it has an orbiter but it looks like it's the same one from the spartan 2 pack and uh johnson as johnson and a suicide grunt which is interesting but um, I'm probably going to need to pick them all up. I don't really need a second Orbiter, but I'll, I'll probably do it anyway because it's like $10 and 
yeah. Anyways, again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.